Let's take a look at custom building blocks for Google Docs. This awesome premium feature is going to save teachers a ton of time as you prepare lessons and activities for your students this year. Hi, my name is John Sowash. I help teachers and students use Google tools in the classroom. Let me do a quick review with you. A smart chip in Google Docs helps you structure your document by adding little features and links. You can add a people chip, which will connect to a person. You can add a date chip, simply by selecting a date on your calendar, great for due dates. You can add a drop down chip to make it easy for people to select options from a menu like a project status. You can add a file chip by linking to any file in your Google Drive account. This is really fun for um, HyperDocs and things like that. And then you even have some premium chips. These are available for anyone who's using the EDU Plus version of Google Workspace, things like Stopwatch and a variable chip, which is basically just kind of like a fill in the blank. So if I add a variable, I have one set up for favorite color. So it just adds a placeholder. Someone would come in and type, my favorite color is purple, something like that. These are all examples of smart chips. And I've got a whole different video on smart chips that you can uh, check out if you're interested. To add a smart chip, you simply type the at symbol and you'll see whatever smart chips that you have available to you. Now, when you combine smart chips together, you can create building blocks. And these are snippets of information that contain all kinds of different things. And there's some pre-built um, building blocks that you can check out. Again, we're just going to type the at symbol. Uh, one of my favorites that I use all the time is the meeting notes uh, building block. Select something from your calendar and it'll automatically build a spot where you can take notes. That's a really cool one. And then another really interesting one is the email draft building block. This allows you to actually draft an email right inside of Google Docs. These building blocks are available to everyone, whether you have the premium version of Google Workspace um, or just the free version. But if you have the premium version, you can actually create your own custom building blocks. This means that you can take something that you use on a regular basis, save it as a building block to quickly and easily insert it into a future document. One really easy example for teachers would be something like a rubric or some instructions. So I do this close reading activity all the time. I'll use this template up above with all my instructions, and then I'll just add a, an article that we're reading down below. But it's annoying. I have to find the document and open it and copy it and paste it. However, if I type the at symbol and then scroll down to the building block section, one of the options is custom building block. I'm going to select that option, and then it's going to ask me to highlight the information I would like to add to my custom building block. I'll click save and we'll call this our close reading activity instructions. You can give it a description if you want. Building blocks are available for your account. They're saved to your account and available for any future document that you create. So now when we scroll down to this document or open a new document, I'd like the at symbol search for close reading and there you go everything we just saved is added to this document this works wonderfully for so many different things uh, for example i have a video planning guide when i plan my youtube videos this is the information that i uh, type out now as i was preparing for this video i actually learned something really interesting because eventually you might want to change your rubric or your instructions or your planning guide. And you can actually do that if you go to the insert menu, go to building block, select custom. This is where all of your existing building blocks will be saved and where you can manage them and make edits to any of the building blocks that you have. What I learned is that in Google Drive, there's a folder that gets created called custom blocks and you can actually find this these are your building blocks so you could edit these documents and your resulting building block would be edited as well it's really a, a cool system there are so many applications for the building blocks for example if you're grading a student's paper and you want to insert a rubric i could type the at symbol and I've got a writing rubric ready to go that I can insert and then start highlighting, you know, 
with the various levels that this student has earned. I hope you'll find some applications for the custom building blocks. You do need to have Google Education Plus in order to access the custom building blocks. I have a whole video library on some of the features of EDU Plus. So you can understand what you're getting. And then over on my Google Admin Bootcamp channel, I have some instructions for your IT administrators about how to upgrade, how much it costs, and what the features are included.